Manufactured gemstones are typically designed to imitate mined gemstones, not these. They're made from heather, a hardy flowering plant which grows wild across Scotland. For centuries, Scots used heather to thatch roofs, stuff mattresses, and even brew ale. This Scottish company turns heather into gemstone material for jewelry and other gift items. Heather gems, as they're called, have vein-like patterns created randomly by the plant's stems. Therefore, no two gems can be identical. When the hand-picked heather arrives at the factory, its green foliage still clings to the upper part of the stems. After cutting the plants into lengths of about 25 centimeters, workers load them into a sandblasting machine. The drum rotates for about half an hour, while tiny iron pellets blast the heather inside. The pellets chip away the bark and remove the foliage. The heather comes out of the machine as bare, dried out, delicate wood. Workers form 700 gram bundles and place them in a vacuum dye chamber for two whole days. First, the vacuum draws out the air in the stems to clear the way for the dye to penetrate. Then, again under vacuum pressure, the stems slowly absorb the dye. This vacuum method is far more effective than dipping or soaking the stems in vats of dye because the color penetrates deeply into the heather wood rather than merely sitting on the surface. They open the bundles and make new ones of the same weight, this time combining colors. It's important to combine thicker stems with thinner ones to create contrasting lines in the gem pattern. They soak each bundle in epoxy resin for two or three minutes, ensuring the stems are well saturated. They place the bundles on racks to allow the excess resin to drain off. They load four bundles between the top and bottom halves of a mold. A press then slowly closes the mold, applying 80 tons of pressure for about a minute. They clamp the mold closed and remove it from the press. Then they put the mold into an oven for an hour to cure the resin. They open the mold and remove what is now a rock hard resin bonded block of heather wood. They put the block on a bandsaw and trim off the rough edges. They cut slices 10 to 12 millimeters thick, depending on what shape gem they'll be making. After gluing each slice onto a plastic backing, a robotic cutting machine guided by a computer cuts the gem shapes. Then workers simply pop the gems off the plastic backing. This domed oval shape is called a cabochon. The finishing team smooths and polishes each gem on a belt sander, then applies four or five coats of clear lacquer. Lacquering draws out the colors while sealing and protecting the wood. Finally, they glue each gem onto the jewelry or gift item. Sometimes they dye the heather just a single color. This still produces a striking gem because the dye penetrates the wood with different intensities, creating contrasting shades. The signature feature is the unique veining produced by the heather encased within. Each and every gemstone truly capturing the natural beauty of the Scottish Highlands.